All right, my friends. Yes, we're doing it again. This is all I do. I know, I know, but I love it. I love riding bike. I love just being out exploring. It's pretty windy. I'm trying to block the wind. Uh, I don't know if I'm doing any good at it, but where are we at? Well, there's a sign over here. I just, instead of me butchering it all up, I'll just show you the sign. We're at, well, it don't even say good grief. How do you say it? Kofa? Kofa? National Wildlife Protected Area? I think it's Kofa. I'm not 100% sure how you say it. But we're going up there. I'm using my phone because I'm on my bike today, so I don't know if this is going to zoom in very good. Um, wait a minute. Where is the road? Come on. Don't be a loser. There it is. We're going up in that canyon right there where you see that little white squiggly line. That's the road. We're going to go up in there. Everybody's been here, I know. Uh, I've been here a couple times. Me and Felicia rode the little scooters all the way up here. That was a challenge. If you want a challenge, ride a little 1980-something 50cc scooter down this old bumpy road and head up that canyon. We actually had to push them up that hill. That hill's steep, steeper than what it looks. But we had a good time, or I did. I had a good time and messed around a little bit and we left. But anywho, that's where we're headed today. So let me quit yapping, get back on the bike, and head up there. I'm trying to think of a name for the bike. I guess I'm going to need y'all's help. Um, what should I call it? Something besides bike. Um, I don't know. I've been trying to think a good name for it, and I've just been... I've been stumped. I can't come up with nothing original, unique. Something that's not generic, but really, you know, fits me. Like, I finally named the RV Yoda because it looks like a big old ganja, you know, Yoda. And a friend of mine gave me that little Yoda stuffed animal thing, stuffed doll. So it fits perfect, you know. The bike, I don't know. We'll come up with something. But anywho, let me pause this, get geared back up, and we're going to head up there in that canyon. All right. We made it up here. <clears throat> Pretty windy up here at the top. I'll do the best I can. We was way, way, way down there. It's pretty beautiful up here. You know, I've been here before. Like I said, most of y'all have too. But they've got a little walker trail. I'm not going to do the whole thing, but it, it walks around, takes you up in the canyon, and you come back down. Ooh, that wind. You might not even be able to hear anything with the wind acting silly the way it is. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to attempt to do this. See this information box right here? Alright. You come up the trail, coughing. This is Palm Canyon. You come up and you park right here, and you start the walking trail. It ain't, I probably haven't gone 100 feet, and you'll get to this little information box. What I'm going to do, let me get them out of my pocket. All right, come on. I'm trying, folks. Bear with me. I'm going to get two of my stickers. I know they're in the shadow. Two stickers. I'm going to put them in this information box back here behind all these pamphlets. There they are. They're right there behind all them pamphlets. So if you want two of the channel stickers, there they are. You got to come get them. This is Palm Canyon. I know the wind. I know you probably can't hear it out of the wind. I'm trying to turn, get out of the wind. I don't do any good. If you want two channel stickers, come to Palm Canyon Park. Walk just a little bit up this trail, just a little information box. And they're back there behind um, the little pamphlets. So there you go, folks. That's an incentive to get you out, kind of explore a little bit. Now, I know everybody's not grabbing their keys and kicking the front door open trying to get here. You know, if I put a $100 bill in there, 
you'd probably kick the wind out of your house and climb out and take off. But eh, you know, just some little incentive to get you out, get you out exploring and walking around. Like I said, I'm not gonna walk this whole trail. In this time of day, the sun's right in my face, so it's not, you know, it's giving me a shadowed kind of a, it's blocking the view is what I'm trying to say. But anywho, can you, if you haven't seen this, if you haven't been to Palm Canyon, you need to come here and check it out. It's pretty nice. But I'm gonna sit here and drink me some water and uh, relax for a minute, and we're gonna jump back on a bike and go find something else. Hey, we come to another spot I wanted to show you. This is called Gwen. I think I'm pronouncing it right. Gwen. Anyway, Pass. Um, I don't know the history on it. It's there's a story behind it. Uh, some of you folks may already know it. Me personally, I don't know it right offhand. I know bits and pieces. I know just enough to butcher it, so I'm not even going to try. But. Um, I was going to go, and I can't even think the name of it, it's a place over here, it's like a bowl that holds water, uh, way back in the day a sheep herder used to water sheep there, and anyway it's way off in that area, I was going to go to it, but it's getting late in the day, the sun's, as you see it's getting close to setting, and I got to get back and get my old dog out, but yeah, he's... He's been in the RV all day, but don't worry, I got the air conditioner on for him. It's just he's been cooped up in there all day. So what I usually what I do, I'll spend one day doing what I want to do, kind of like like today, just out roaming around. And then the next day, like tomorrow, that'll be Rusty's day. I won't go nowhere. I'll just let him out, kick him out the door, let him do whatever he wants to do. If he wants to roam around, that's fine. If he wants to Lay in the shade and sleep all day. That's fine too. But tomorrow will be his day. But I'm going to pause this for a minute and I'm going to climb up there. Actually, I'm not going to climb. There's a path right here. But I'm going to get to the top so we get a better view. I'm hiking on this path on my way to up there. It's pretty windy, so I'm trying to block the wind as best I can. And there's trails I could ride the bike on. That one there is pretty... It don't show on the camera, but that's pretty daggum steep. That's the reason I'm not going down that one. I mean, I could go down it and, and wrestle my way back up it, but I'm not trying to do all that hard riding. I'm just out enjoying the day. Um, I mean, there's times I do enjoy doing that. Pretty aggressive riding, but it's just not today. Today is a lazy day. Oh. Pretty cool lizard. I was going to show him to you, but I didn't scare him. I can see him. Wait a minute. Let's see if I can find him. See him sitting on that rock? See the rock in the center screen with the white line? Look just above the white line. Like right there. See him? There he went. Okay, whenever we're gonna get to the top, we do that. So, I guys to keep stopping and looking. It's pretty amazing. Pretty cool looking butte over there. I'm using my phone, so we're not getting the best views, but I didn't feel like packing and babysitting the camera today. Which I got my backpack with me, but it's full of water and I got a little bit of extra gas in it. I do, I take me a, I found me a, well I didn't find it, I bought it. But anyway, I got me a, what do you call it? The sun's cooking my brain. Anyway, a bottle of grape juice. I love grape juice. That's what I'm trying to get at. It's kind of thin. It's tall and it's thin. I think it's quart. I'm not 100 sure, but anyway, I drank it and then I cleaned it out real good, and I filled up the gas and put it in my backpack for a little reserve in case I get too far out and I run out of gas. I can put that in there and get me somewhat back to civilization. 
Ooh. I would like to camp out here, tent camp. I could probably sneak out here and do it. There's some more of that trail. I could pick it up, go down here somewhere, get my big arm in the way, go down there somewhere and pick the trail up and head out there, do a little tent camping. But let me pause this. We're going to get up there to the top. Already, I'm about to die. Whew. That was a hard climb. And I got this riding gear on, so it's 500 degrees, it feels like. <clears throat> We made it to the top. Man, I'm out of shape. Right way down there is the bike. Hoping the bike size is still it because I'm too fat and out of shape to run after them. Yeah. Pretty nice. I can see for. See the two. Little peaks one there and one there way on the other side of it I don't know how far but a long ways uh, it's the town of I know the name I just know how to say it Baus ba I think that's how you say it B-O-U-S-E Baus something like that but anyway that'd be the next nearest town I've been here before, came here last year. Uh, that's the reason I knew this little cool lookout spot was here. Cause I've done been here. Trails everywhere. I mean, all them little lines you see. Uh, little horse shooting on it. It's all trails. They usually got their ATVs and Jeeps and everything on them. Don't look like anybody's out riding today though. Just me. Of course, everybody hasn't got here yet. I'm about to over here as the winter people. They're here, don't get me wrong. But it's like maybe 20% of the people are here. It hasn't even started to get crazy yet. Now I'm trying to get out and enjoy what I can before it does get crazy because in about a month, I won't be able to stand up here all by myself, peace and quiet. There'll be four or five people standing beside me. There'll be people hiking down there and ATVs zipping around. And yeah, it'll be crowded. Goes a jeep down the highway. But anywho, yeah, I just want to show this to you. I think it's pretty cool. You get like a, I know the sun's right there. I know it's messing up the video, but you get a good view of the lay of the land, all the different peaks and valleys. And I just think it looks pretty cool. <clears throat> Fixing to see a truck go by right down there. Now they're going to turn in here. Anyhow, let me get off here, make my way back down to my bike and I guess I'm going to head back to camp. We'll say our goodbyes there. Well, good evening, everybody. Day's coming to an end. The sun's setting. It's actually behind the RV, but... Um, I never did get to end the last video, or the one you just watched. Uh, I never actually got to end it that day because something happened at the end of the day that kind of, yeah, caused a little excitement in our life. Um, the other little riding clips you've seen was several days ago. But I come home, let Russ out, and uh, he was out roaming around right over there in that area. Well, actually, there's more more of that area. But anyway, doing what he does, just roaming around. I peed on a few bushes. And I was inside, and I heard him yip real loud. And before I could look out the door or anything, he was already... Oh, right in this area here, coming coming up to me. But um, yeah, he, he just looked funny, and I don't have a scrap. I, I could just tell something wasn't right. So I thought maybe he got an old thorn bush or something. I don't know. But he come over here and lay down. This is where I usually always park the bike, and he laid down right over here. 
about an hour later, you know, it starts getting dark, I always have him come in because, well, you know, he's my buddy, he sleeps inside with me. But uh, I noticed when he come in, he was acting weird. Every time I just barely moved, he would just quench his eyes up, duck his head down, and, you know, like I was fixing to hit him or something. And I don't, you know, I was like, well, what in the world's wrong with this dog? And, and it kept getting worse and worse and laying there, and then he got to where he couldn't move. He tried to get up off his little bed and, and get situated. He couldn't, even, he couldn't even move. And I knew right then something had happened. I just didn't know what. And about 20 minutes later, he started throwing up. I, I'm, well, I thought, well, he's done got snake bit or something. So I put him in the old RV. And he's down here now. He's doing good. But uh, I put him in the RV, and we we drove to Yuma. Uh, took him to the vet. And they confirmed he'd been snake bit, probably by a rattlesnake. So if you got any pets out here, if you're in the courtside area and you got any pets running, be careful because the old snakes are still out roaming around, I guess. But anywho, uh, he gave him some shots. And he told me he didn't know. He didn't know if he's going to make it. So he said if he made it through the night, he'd believe he'd be all right. Um... Of course, I brought him home thinking I was going to lose him. He, um, yeah, he wasn't doing good at all. He had pretty much given up. I couldn't, couldn't even get him to raise his head. So I, I sat with him all night. Um, he was doing a lot of throwing up, so I, I fixed him a little bit. Well, this bed right here and old, some old uh, sleeping bag I had. I fixed him a bed outside here. We just laid outside. Hung out. I was pretty sure that was going to be the last time I'd had my old, my old buddy. But I fell asleep sometime during the night and uh, woke up in the morning. You know, I laid outside here with him. Woke up in the morning. He was sitting there looking at me. Had his head raised up looking at me. Um, so I got him a little food. I, you know, I gave him a hot dog or something. He, he ate about three pieces of it. That was all he wanted. I couldn't get him to drink no water. That went on through the day. Uh, I just kept him shaded, kept flies off of him. Yeah, flies are bad, I heard right now for some reason. But I kept shade on him, kept the flies off of him, kept giving him a hot dog or two, just wherever I could get him to eat. And by the end of the day, he actually took a couple of drinks of water out of his bowl here. I thought, well, you know, the old, the old boy's going to be all right. And he couldn't move. I don't know what paralysis or whatever, I don't know, but he couldn't move at all. And I could tell he's wanting to use the bathroom, but he's, he's such a good dog. He won't pee anywhere near our camp or, or in the floor or anything. So I picked him up. He's a heavy old dog, he, especially when he's limp. He's heavy. I got him right out there somewhere and, and held him up, and he, he let her go. He peed on the ground, and I got him back over here and laid him on the bed. He didn't do nothing but sleep all day yesterday. But yesterday afternoon, I kept seeing more improvement. Um, he started, he got to where he's wagging his tail. I'm like, all right, that's a good sign. He feels good enough that he's, you know, wagging his tail. Still couldn't move. I got him to eat a whole lot of food. Well, not a whole lot, but about a handful of dog food. Um, didn't get sick or nothing. He ate it. And today, he's just been really, really doing good. Been up moving around. He's ate twice a day. I've been making him drink water all day. I say make him because he won't go to it, but if I sit in front of him, splash a little bit on his old snout, he'll go down there and give him a drink. So I've been making him keep hydrated all day. And right now, old rascal's doing all right. He's been up roaming around, walking good. He's moving really slow, but he's walking good. So I believe the old boy's going to be all right. Ain't you, pal? I think the old pup's going to be okay. But anyhow, it's been an adventure this week. Yeah. I certainly didn't want to lose my old buddy. But anyway, I'm keeping a close eye on him now. He don't get out of my sight. I don't let him get anywhere around the washers or anywhere. He, he's got to stay right here where I can see him. Because that was really... Yeah, I just didn't want to have to deal with that. But anywho, we're going to end this video here. Old Russ going to take it easy. So glad I still got him. Oh yeah, and last night, 
I left his dog food pan out here, and I kept hearing, I kept hearing it moving around like it's, you know, it's metal. So I hear it clinging, clanging on the rocks. And I looked out the window, that window right there. Of course, it's dark here. I couldn't see nothing, so I shined my flashlight, and there's a there was a fox sitting there eating scraps of his food. But it was a, I'm not gonna say it was albino, but it was solid white. Of course, I couldn't see its eyes. His eyes were glowing in the light. So I couldn't tell if they was blue, pink, whatever, but his fur was solid white. I mean, not a single bit of color in it, nowhere. It was pretty cool. He, he didn't pay no attention to me. He just kept on eating the scraps there, and he ran off that way somewhere. But anyway, I'm going to look for it tonight. Um, probably somewhere over there, put just a little bit of food out for it. Let's see if I can see him again. But anyhow, we're going to end this video right here. Me and old Russ going to take it easy. Let this old boy start feeling better. I think he's doing pretty good now. But let him rest some more, lay around and rest, and then maybe we'll get out and do some adventure later on. But yeah, I appreciate y'all stopping by and watching. And uh, I guess until next time, God bless you.